Welcome to Notesmatic, your favorite marketing and business management blog. Today, we are going to talk about PepsiCo. Pepsi is one of the leading soda brands and the arch rival of Coca-Cola. We are going to present the value chain of Pepsi in this video. Pepsi is one of the two leading brands in the soda industry with a global presence and strong global sales and distribution network. Apart from being a highly competitive brand of non-alcoholic beverages and snacks, Pepsi is also the strongest rival of Coca-Cola. The company has managed its global distribution network with the support of distributors and retailers. In recent years, the brand has also expanded its product portfolio to include more health-friendly and snack products. While the soda industry has grown highly competitive, sustaining growth now requires a consistent focus on product quality, marketing as well as customer engagement. However, Pepsi has kept investing in digital marketing to grow customer engagement and retain its competitive advantage amidst heavy competition from Coca-Cola and other brands. One of the leading factors that have supported the growth and success of PepsiCo worldwide is its supply chain. The company has optimized its value chain to achieve the best results and cater to customer demand with higher efficiency. Michael E. Porter of the Harvard Business School introduced the concept of the value chain. This model includes the entire range of activities from the procurement of raw material to the production, marketing, sales, and after-sales service. Each of these stages adds value to the final product. Analyzing the value chain and optimizing it helps achieve superior results. Through the optimization of their value chains, companies can increase their operational efficiency as well as build new sources of competitive advantage. The value chain includes two kinds of activities, primary activities and support activities. Primary activities, the primary activities in Porter's value chain are concerned directly with the creation of products or services. Inbound logistics, inbound logistics refers to the inward flow of goods into business which includes transport, storage, and delivery. Pepsi has a global supply chain and it sources raw materials from several nations around the world. The company works with thousands of suppliers around the world to source raw material and primarily agricultural raw material. The company has established a strong supply chain and distribution network. The integrated logistics function of the company plays a key role in the smooth operation of inbound logistics and to ensure that raw materials flow into the system seamlessly. In recent years, PepsiCo has made a lot of investment into its existing fleet to make it more efficient, modernized and environment friendly. The company has established warehouses at key locations worldwide and in close proximity to its suppliers to reduce transportation and logistics related expenses. Pepsi also uses advanced software for inventory management and to manage logistics. PepsiCo has divided its global operations into six areas or geographical divisions which include Frito-Lay North America FLNA, PepsiCo's branded food and snack businesses in the United States and Canada. Quaker Foods North America QFNA, PepsiCo's cereal, rice, pasta and other branded food businesses in the United States and Canada. North America Beverages NAB, PepsiCo's beverage businesses in the United States and Canada. Latin America PepsiCo's beverage, food and snack businesses in Latin America. Europe Sub-Saharan Africa ESA, PepsiCo's beverage, food and snack businesses in Europe and Sub-Saharan Africa, and Asia, Middle East, and North Africa AMENA, PepsiCo's beverage, food and snack businesses in Asia, Middle East and North Africa. The company has also established a large network of offices, distribution centers, warehouses, plants, and other facilities. Outbound logistics concerns the outward flow of goods from inside the organization or simply put the distribution and sales network of a company. Outbound logistics plays a major role in the value chain of a company and is a critical link whose efficiency ensures operational effectiveness and business success. Pepsi has maintained a strong international presence through its multi-channel distribution network. The company brings its products to the market to its customers through a mix of various sales and distribution channels. Pepsi primarily uses direct store delivery DSD, customer warehouse and distributor networks to bring its products to the market. However, the kind of channel used depends on the needs of the customers, characteristics of the product as well as the local trade practices. PepsiCo operates the direct store delivery systems with the help of its bottlers and distributors. The DSD systems deliver beverages, foods, and snacks to the retail stores where they are merchandised by PepsiCo employees or the independent bottlers of the company. 
The DSD system allows PepsiCo to merchandise its products with higher visibility and appeal which is profitable for the company. This system is most suited for the distribution of the products that are restocked more often. Some of the Pepsi products are delivered from its manufacturing plants and warehouses to the customer warehouses. The less fragile and perishable products with lower turnover are mainly distributed through this channel. PepsiCo also utilizes third-party distributors for the distribution of several of its products. The company uses them when it has to distribute a large range of products and include them on the same delivery vehicle. The food service and vending businesses of Pepsi use third-party distributors and operators to distribute beverages, food, and snacks to restaurants, businesses, schools, and stadiums. Pepsi is excellent in terms of marketing and it is one of the key focus areas in its value chain since the company is a part of a highly competitive industry where marketing is essential to maintain demand and sales. Coca-Cola is the biggest rival of Pepsi and to maintain its competitive position, the company makes a large investment in advertising and promotions each year. Apart from digital channels of promotions including social media, the company also uses outdoor promotions to advertise its products and for customer engagement. Video marketing has also played a key role in growing the popularity of Pepsi brands and products throughout the world. Pepsi offers a large and diversified range of beverages, snacks and food products. The product portfolio of Pepsi includes beverages, low-calories beverages as well as a large range of healthy snacks and food products. A highly diversified product portfolio has also helped the company find faster growth in terms of overall sales and revenue. Thanks for watching. Learn more about Pepsi's value chain including support activities by visiting the link in the description. Subscribe to our channel for more insightful discussions.